So, hi, and welcome back to Three Minutes with Ulu. I'm here with Carson Block. There he is. How's it going? Awesome. I'm gonna set the timer, okay. and it's three minutes. And that's the that's the slate. That's it. That's three okay. minutes. That's actually not the slate. No, this is this is in this is gonna be in the video. So three minutes. Let's go. <laughs> awesome. All right. So yes. you're not a librarian. I'm not a librarian. So how would you explain to a desk jockey what you do and how it affects them? Oh, that's a, that's a good question. Everything we do in the library has technology attached to it in some way, shape, or form. Not, not, maybe not overtly, right? But, but it helps us uh, get stuff done on the back end or the front end. Uh, it, it's starting to become uh, that, that glue that holds everything together. So uh, when it comes to technology, one of the things that's the most important actually is that the infrastructure, which is invisible, usually, if it's working, it's invisible. Right. If it's not, it's not working, working it's then very... everybody knows about it. Yes, right. exactly. Um, but making sure that that, that that basis is there so that we can build services on top of it or just convenience on top of uh, everything that we're doing in the library. So whether that's patron, direct, direct patron services or stuff that a uh, librarian needs to do or a paraprofessional or a staff member uh, right. <laughs> needs to do uh, to make things work. So can you talk a little bit about what you do with that? Oh yeah, um, uh, it's really always hard for me to do that because I, I, I feel like I have multiple personalities. Uh, every... Well, pick one and go with that one. Okay, that sounds good. <laughs> you know, the one named Ed. The one named, oh yeah, Ed. I mean, we don't well, maybe not Ed. Ed. Not Ed. Not no, Ed? It's problematic. All right. Uh, <laughs> um, everything I did as a as a uh, IT director in a library, I actually do now as a consultant. So um, uh, I do a lot of public speaking, and that's the most visible part of what I do. It's the funnest part, but um, it's not the biggest part. The biggest part is working on like uh, construction projects. So everything from the visioning of something to the specifications, the program for that, the design, and then making sure what you design gets built. Yeah. You know, sometimes it drifts a little bit. Yeah. So. Um, so from the beginning to the end, uh, I also do uh, like uh, technology assessments. Uh, so it's coming in. That's a nice way to put it because some people want to call it an audit. <laughs> Come in and audit us. And it's like, well, what if we just do an assessment and see yeah. what, what, what elements are there to build on and where you might need a little help. Um, sometimes those uh, also result in um, things like technology plans. Uh, hiring, like especially hiring tech leaders. Uh, and that's been a developing part of my, my work now. Is, good people in technology leadership positions and we don't have enough. It breaks my heart. Yeah. We don't have enough. So how much do you think that that is about the pay? Uh, that's definitely a piece of it. Um, however, we have people coming from the private sector into libraries because the quality of the life of the library is much better than the private sector. Uh, so pay is definitely an issue. In fact, when I work with my clients, that's one of the first things we tackle is uh, looking at the pay range and making sure that it's, it's competitive and reflective of the sort of work that's making. Oh, I got it. Yeah. Oh, there it goes. Bye-bye, everybody. All done. Bye.